Anything going on in the quest corner, Wombat? Playing any VR? Uh, I finally got back into Supernatural this week. It had been like a there was a, there was a little bit of drama in the last couple of weeks in this house, and then we went on vacation. So now things are VR drama. No, like life drama. Oh, <laughs> things... I thought you had to hide the VR because no, were like... my now that we're past it, I guess I could talk about it. But my son was quarantined for a week because oh. someone in his camp group got got the COVIDs, so he had to be stay. He couldn't leave the house for over a week. And that's like a thing <laughs> when right. a 10 year old that can't leave the house in the summertime Mine when didn't. it's really nice outside. <laughs> I didn't leave the house for like two weeks. Yeah. Well, he likes video games. Yeah. My son movie. wanted to, my son just wanted to go back to camp, but right, his right, whole right, right, camp right. group got quarantined right? and he got stuck in the house. So it was just, you know, Oh my God. My wife went to the Lego store. <laughs> She's like, well, we're getting the money back for the last week of camp. So I took that money and just spent it on Legos. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, all right. <laughs> so <laughs> So that was the big activity. Yeah, that was basically what he did was building Legos. I think you could see some of it behind me. See, can you see the you can see the Lego City behind me? Nice. Yeah. Sort of. Kinda. Here's a question anyway. from at Walls Fio. He says, what VR games would you recommend for an extremely out of shape guy with a bad back uh, for healthy activity? Supernatural. They have the, the, I think the light one would be good. Like, you know, just filter to light exercises and uh, you should be good. I'd actually just bought, I forgot I bought a game. I bought uh, Synth Riders. You know what that is? It's a, uh, it's another music game where you, it's very similar, similar to all the, to the other ones, except there's like orbs and you hit the orbs or you like do that. But the big difference with this one is you can load up custom songs really easily. And there's like a big library to choose from. Uh, so you're able to get some custom songs on there. So that's a good one too. You'll um, get exercise for that. Pistol all these whip. things just sound like we or connect, but a things on your face. Uh huh. Pretty much. They're, they're. More engaging, I guess, because they're on your face. The the best games are essentially the ones that are the most uh, like a ride at Epcot. <laughs> I mean, all rides in an amusement park are basically this now. Oh, they had even at the, the all, Cartoon Network Hotel. It was like <laughs> Universal. Universal? For they're 15 bucks, Universal. they had the uh, the Cartoon Network VR experience thing. And it was just an Oculus Rift with some Fucking video bullshit. on it. Fucking and I was bullshit. like, I'm like, I could do this at home. <laughs> so no thanks. Exactly. Uh, there's a lot of games. Actually, most of any like the VR games where you're standing up, you're gonna get some exercise, especially if you're. I out like of shape. Uh, I like Pistol Whip a lot too. Yeah, I mean that one's that might be my favorite game. As that's like a arcade style game on the on yeah the, on VR, you and that one you kind of just stand there, but you feel like such a badass. Just she pulling those triggers, and occasionally you have to duck. If you play and on you, a harder difficulty, you'll definitely get sweaty. Yeah, you have sure. to move a lot when you play on the hard difficulty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My ass is definitely sweaty playing that game. Mm -hmm. No question. Uh, what else we got here? Where are we? Are we in the CAG bag? I think we can be in the CAG bag. Wherever you want to be, I'll be there. Uh, Shanna fan writes in and asks, did the Amazon guy ever get Shipwreck a replacement Series X? Didn't you get like one that was stolen off the truck or something like that? Yeah, they stole they stole one from me. And yeah, I called and they just said, "Oh, nope, we'll cancel it." And I said, "No, I don't, I don't want that. <laughs> uh, I want, I want an Xbox." And so, yeah, the guy took a. He said, oh, "I'll put this post-it note up here, and the next one right. comes up, I'll order it for you." Right. That didn't. I, I have not. I have not seen that Xbox yet. No. Yeah. Now I am assuming you got a refund for the original one, though. It's not oh, like yeah. they're, they're not still they, holding on to your money. I, I no. had no, I had no choice in the matter, right? Yeah. Like they, right. yeah. Um, so I couldn't, I couldn't let them hold on to my money. Like it, even if I chose, right? To. They said not we're gonna refund that was, you. That was the problem. You're like, take my money. No, I right. want you to take my money. Right. And now you can get the Xbox, the fancy, uh, the uh, Halo Xbox. I'm good. I, I like that Halo <laughs> controller though. I want a the Halo. The two hundred dollar one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice. The two hundred dollar one. It's nice. I'm not getting it. it I just said it, it was nice. It is the non Halo <laughs> version. I think is like is down to like one sixty or less. Is that for the the two? Yeah. Really. Yeah, it's really good. Mm. It's like it's like it's the controller. 
You're like, huh? You're fine. You're fine with the one, Wombat. I'm you have the, oh, you have the elite one. I don't have the elite one. Oh, the, no, you suck. Never mind. You're you suck. You're garbage. You're trash yeah. from the trash can. I know. I don't have Actually, any the elites. Xbox one. The Xbox One Series X controllers are still pretty nice. Yeah, they are. They are. They're super nice. Yeah. I do need another controller though, because my first one is getting a little loose. So. Uh, Already, your Series X. Mm-hmm. From all the Fortnites. From all the Fortnites. It's a lot of fucking Fortnite. It yeah. is a lot of fucking Fortnite. <laughs> Whatever. You're it makes me allowed. happy. You're allowed. I'm not judging. It makes you. me happy. I'm only judging you a little. Uh, speaking of judging you, at Super Mario tweet writes in and said, "It's been a few months since we've had a Wombat Health update. How's our bud doing?" I've been better. I, I would say August was a tough month. I need to get back into the swing of things. Although when I got my suit fitted, I was surprised at uh, how well it fit. So wait, but they suit, but they wait. What are you saying? They didn't have to. They didn't like. They, it took the. It, they they were like they didn't have to like do much for the alterations and things. They were just. It's a new suit, mind you. They didn't have to let but, out the crotch. No, actually, they did. But that's neither here nor there. That's from that Swedish penis bump you've been. Uh huh. Exactly. Yeah. It is pretty funny because that was the one thing that I uh, that they had to do when they when I tried on the pants, but the waist was fine and the when the le- well obviously the length was going to be an issue. But the only one jacket, like I thought, I'm like okay, they're going to have to find like seven jackets to find something that closes around me. But nope, they're like here's something. So I don't know. It went better than I thought. Did you shop at Tall and Fat? I did not shop at Melons. <laughs> oh, see, I knew you were going. I knew you would know. Uh, I knew that you would know. Yeah, their dolls were abandoned. Those well, I, what, what? their dolls were abandoned. Their dolls were abandoned. I don't remember that. Exactly. See, I, well, I don't remember the. What's the reference? Back to school. But what's the doll? What do you mean? What was abandoned? I don't they remember. have the melon patch kids. I don't remember that at all. I haven't watched that movie in forever. Jeez. Wow. Wow. Melon patch kids. Melon Patch Kids. They're like Cabbage Patch Kids. Theirs were adopted, but ours were abandoned. <laughs> I don't remember that. I got to watch that with Ty. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else we got? Okay, so you said you were good. You said you were not good, but you're going to be good. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, uh, yeah, I have to give it another go again. I mean, now that things will calm down a bit, now that we're back into normal schedule mm-hmm. stuff. Right. Mm-hmm. Shipwreck, do you have any more running tips? Like you gave me one running tip when I, and when I'm on the treadmill at Orange Theory, it's the only thing I think about. And you told me to this swing enough, my right? you'd swing my hands through my pockets. Yeah, and that's so that's the only thing that I focus on. Is there anything else that I can add to? What do you mean, swing your hands through? Like put your hands in your pockets and move? through? No. Like when you're running, some when people running. run yeah. like this with their hands up by their chest, and then oh, most people run like I that. I see. You keep your arms down, basically. Relax your shoulders. Yeah. yeah, it it yeah, it just relaxes your shoulders and and makes it so your arms are actually doing you good rather than harm. Um, Is there anything know. else? Because. I'm getting better at the running and I feel like I can, I can add I mean, stuff. The, the other thing that you just want to be, I guess, conscious of is when you start to get tired, just make sure your knees are lifting. Like if you just concentrate on, on making sure your knees lift high, right. that, that'll keep you going. How high do I need to lift them? Because they're very heavy. Um, I mean, it's, it's not like you're getting them up to 90 degrees or something, but okay. like maybe, maybe a good 80 degrees. Okay. I'm going to work on that. The hands one is what I think about before my mind drifts. It's a, it's a good shit. one. It, that, that makes you a lot more calm. Yeah. When yeah. You're running. And I'm uptight it, it, anyway. I'm always like this. Right. With the shoulders. Don't walk like that either. No, I try not to, but I do sometimes. <laughs> uh, all right. I think we made it to the end of the show. 